Hello everyone, this is Ross here for Xbox Gamer Reviews and today we're taking a look at Monster Energy Supercross, the official video game. This is available now on the Microsoft Store, priced at £49.99, that's $59.99 at €69.99. Right, we're going to jump into a quick race, uh, show you off for some of the gameplay and then we're going to come back to the main menu and have a quick look through everything else that's available. Angel Stadium in Anaheim, California. This is one of the most prestigious stops of the Monster Energy AMA Supercross and FIM World Championship season. A win here is a highlight to any rider's year. The engines have fired and the racers are ready to kick the bikes into gear. It's main event time in Southern California. Right then, so just before we get going, this is just a single race uh, from the the quick race menu and um, I have saved you a bit of time there watching a load screen on. There is some performance issues with this game on Xbox One standard consoles, um, so the load times compared to an Xbox One X are absolutely huge. Uh, there's some frame rate issues as well, you'll see those in a second. Um, but let's crack on anyway, so we've got to choose the last gate since we're just doing a one shot race. Uh, you can do some bike setup as well. Uh, just before you get going, if you want to finalise any adjustments you want to make, you can do those there. Um, we're just going to crack on anyway, start the race. So yeah, you'll see some frame rate issues um, as we start and as we get round to the first corner. There's a little pause there. That was particularly good to be honest with you. There is other tracks where the, f the game will pause quite a fair bit, um, loses frames really bad. And we did some testing. Um, you guys that watch it quite regularly will know um, that Bobby does videos as well on YouTube, and he he's playing on an X. And we did some testing, and he's had no issues with frame rate loss or anything. So we're putting it down to the game's performance, depending on which console you're playing on. Um, so we're back to the game though, so you've got different difficulty options with this. this. If you're familiar with the MXGP games from Milestone, you'll know them quite well. So you can change um, how the game handles for physics wise. So I've got it currently set on normal, so you can control the rider uh, with the right stick. Like you shift his weight with the right stick and then the bike is with the left stick. Um, it's a lot more easier in my opinion to play the game with the control set like that. Um, loads of different view options as well, we'll skip through them quite quickly now, so that's a third person 4, rider cam, then helmet cam, and switch back. Um, you can also pause, you can take pictures and go into free camera mode, have a look around, uh, click your left stick in to get rid of the bar at the bottom and you know do the old press the guide button and grab a screenshot so you can do all that stuff let's crack on um, so yeah we'll just finish up the game and I'll show you some of the race options anyway before when we go back to the main menu and uh, before we finish the video up um, so what else is new with this game while we're playing through so we've got a new track editor as well I will show that off in a minute so there's uh, countless uh, numbers of tracks to create um, you can also upload them for the community to have a go on and you can download other people's as well so you can create championships for those use them in time trials um, so yeah we'll take a quick look at that in a little bit so your single player's got time attack uh, career single races which we're doing now and then also single championships where you can create your own or do uh, the in-game built ones and Multiplayer as well, uh, you can do the same with multiplayer uh, online championships and the like. There's 12 players online. Uh, just to quickly show you this as well, while we've just crashed, you can press the right bumper and do a rewind. That's pretty standard in these games now. Um, yeah, I can't really think of much else to uh, 
talk about to call well until we go back to the main menu. I probably forgot a load of stuff. I'm trying to concentrate and do uh, decently in this at the same time. I mean, other than that issue that we spoke about earlier with the frame rate loss, as you can see, since that's happened, there's been probably one instance where the game had a little drop just as we crossed the start finish line, but majority of the time it's it's flawless. And it's definitely one of the best performing games at Milestone that I've made. It's just that one issue, and it does affect you quite badly in multiplayer as well. So. Um, if you're on an S and you get that frame rate drop and you're playing against somebody that's on an X that don't get the frame rate drop at the start of a race, they can just fly off, you get frozen on the start line and yeah, they've got a, a massive head start, which if you're playing against somebody that's quite good at the game and they get that head start, then you're not, you're not going to get a chance to catch them up. And it's uh, something that they definitely need to look into and fix, so let's hope that they do. Um, yeah, it is a big issue. So we've got a frame rate sort of spike there as well, which is... Uh, you can cope with those little ones, it's just the big ones. And again, when you're playing online, you don't want to be made to be last from the start gate just because you, your game's freezing up on you. What have we got left? Well, one lap left. Well, this is the final lap. Uh, but yeah, as we are saying, anyone that's definitely one of the better looking milestone games um, with regards to like the surroundings and the track it's definitely more polished than say the last MXGP game right, let's get the uh, this over and done with and then uh, we'll go back and have a look at everything else that we've got available with the game to go. Oops, that um, frame rate drop there messes up a little bit. Oh, right, let's put a second. Let's, let's rewind that. Let's use it to our advantage. Right, here we go. That's better. <laughs> right, there we go. So, there's the results. I want to skip through those quick. Those three rode the wheels off their machine. Um, so, like this screen now, we get your SX credits reward. Now, these are what you use to purchase new bikes, um, component upgrades for your bikes, as well as customization items for your your rider. And the next page is the prestige prestige rewards. Now, these are like you're leveling up. So you can see top right of the screen, we're level 114. So that's what you get from. The prestige rewards and at certain milestones the game will give you um, bonus items so I've unlocked a bronze skin for bikes and a bronze rider outfit just as an example there's other stuff as well you can see they've got some new patches as well some new book patches for for reaching level 115 um, so yeah let's back out of this anyway and we'll go and check out the rest of the game Right, so back on the main menu, and we've got single player, which we've just done a single event. You've got time attack, um, your career as well, and championship. So in there, you can do a single championship, like a custom one, or take part in the uh, the official 2017 championship as well. Online modes, uh, so you've got quick match, create a match, and there's leaderboards too. Uh, the leaderboards for the time attack in single player as well. Customize. This is where you go and customize your rider. So you'll make one when you first play the game. Uh, so you do all the rider data which is in there so names uh, numbers and all that sort of stuff uh, your rider outfit you've got four that you can do um, I've only really stuck to the one so outfit one and change your helmet goggles suit boots neck brace and your butt patch same for your bike as well um, so you've got your 250 bikes and your 450s uh, so if you press A on that one you can see we've only got the one unlocked at the minute. Uh, you unlock the others by using your SX credits. So let's go to the KTM. 
And the same thing, you've got four configurations. So your components. So things like uh, exhausts, the stock exhaust, if we go to that, will lower our performance. So if we go back to the evolution one, you can see the speed and the acceleration increases to 10. It's the little pink green there letting you know that it's going up. Uh, some other ones as well, I think, give you different things, or some of them are the same. So not everything improves the bike, there's some stuff, so exhaust, tyres, rims, that sort of stuff. Your brake disc will obviously improve handling as well. Um, so it's back out of there. You can do graphic kits, so you can, again, change the faceplate. Um, it's number size there, using the left and right trigger. Same for the side plates. You've got your different liveries as well, so stock livery. Um, sponsor liveries, so you can have these on. These are unlocked mainly through um, leveling up. And you've got your special ones as well, so like you see there, we've got the bronze bike. Um, you can unlock the silver and the gold at levels 200 and 300. And then your different component colours, so you can do your brake levers, different colours, um, clutch covers, it's all there, quite in depth. You see the bike's quite detailed as well. Let's back out of that quick. Our track track edit editor is the, um, the welcome addition to the game where you can uh, go make your own tracks and download other people's as well. So you've got tutorials that show you how to do stuff. We're just going to go and edit a track just to quickly show you a uh, track that I've already started on and how we can create them. Right, so, we are. so as I just said, this is a track that I quickly knocked together earlier on just so when I load in you can you guys can see uh, a track that's been already started. So you've got all your components on the left side and use your left and right bumper to flick between them. So you've got jumps, warps, straights, curves, there's loads and loads. You have to have a has to have a finished line on it and the track obviously needs to be able to be completed to um to be validated. So as you do every single bit that you need to do on the right hand side of the screen you'll get a little tick in the box. So you stadium selections first, um, then pop your starting area down, uh, create your track, make sure you've got a finish line on and finalization. So the track has to end over the green area of the uh, the starting block that you put down. Once you've all uh, done all of that, you press Y to validate the track. So we'll do that now. And then the AI will take a bike around the circuit to validate it. And then you can, once you've done that, you can upload it online uh, for everybody else to download and use as well. Oh yeah, so the uh, AI will do its thing, go around the track. And again, you can make these as short or as intricate as you want to. Uh, the only limit you've got is the uh, space within the arena. Uh, so there you go, track's been validated now. So if you want to upload this track online, you can choose yes and then uh, name your track and then upload it. Just hit no for now, just for the uh, the quickness of it. Alright, so yeah, that was a quick look at the uh, track editor there. There's a few more little bits you could do. You can go around the track by yourself if you want to as well, rather than just letting the AI do it, just to test it out. Um, different angles, viewing angles you can have as well. So next thing on the list is the options. So you've got your HUD options, your control options in here. This is where you can remap your controller. So those, there's, there's a few of you out there that do like to remap your buttons. You can do all that here. Uh, audio settings, uh, reset your career if you want to, and an SX profile. That's to do with uh, a milestone based profile that you can have. Um, so yeah, you can, you asked if you want to make one when you first start the game up. So that's that. Uh, DLC menus there it takes you to the store page and then extras, these tutorials and credits. So that's pretty much everything. So yeah, this has been a preview of Monster Energy Supercross. As we said earlier on, it is available now on the Microsoft Store. So go and check it out if you're interested. I hope this video has given us a little insight to the game, what it looks like, what it plays like. If it does, please leave a like on it. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you soon.